James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. That's a 9 millimeter semi-automatic pushed against your skull. What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! They're shooting porno here. No! Hey, shit ain't cool, out man. Of here. What are you doing? Oh, here? Hey! Fuck the prick in my bed. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. Who need my help? Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? This other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, Get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure that this is one of them? shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Oh, how about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? You and me? We got a new home. Where? Here? Mm. <laughs> Here. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? Brad. Fuck. 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 Joe Phillips, Mr. Chow has requested a word. Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. You want to win? Come on, pick yourself up. We're getting out of here. So you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. What the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! He wants to kill me! He wants to kill me! Lady, you need a friend! Stop him! Stop him! He's a killer! Hey, hey, hey! hey. Oh, a madman's coming! Oh, stop! Look out! Oh. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, ah fuck. <sighs> yeah, no shit. 
An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. They're coming! Everybody, chopper, pick me up! Bring it down! I'm taking fire! I'm hit! I'm hit! Get it! Get it! Around! Oh, God! Fuck! Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a... Oh! Oh! Come on, let's go. Hey. Oh. Ooh. We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. Let's get the fuck out of here then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Damn, Franklin. Don't. Jesus. Yeah. Any longer and I was gonna torch this place too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah! Fucking it! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> <sighs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Embrace it. Whatever you say, doc. Tracy, I'm just trying to help you as best I can. I'm starting to understand why Mom became a stripper and you robbed banks. Come on. Come on. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. 
We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the guns down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Fuck! Job T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Well, at least it's not completely ruined. Thank you. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low-rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning... Uh, you know, I've been meaning... I have been meaning to tell you, you know, I mean, what, homie, what do you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too, because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh... Still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Five dollars for a hand job is the best you're gonna get. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretch and set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. 
I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Hey, 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 why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... Little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking frontal. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. Hey! You see my face, amigo? Re fucking memory, I'm your goddamn boss. And that is why you never talk unkindly to strangers, my friend. Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. Doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. 
Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Hey, baby, you looking for a date? Nope. Me and my wife did therapy. No pros for me. Yeah. Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning! All right, we gotta keep going. Some loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser! Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out! Go to hell! Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E-N-T! Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, 
The fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on! Down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Oh, I got you, you dick. Oh, uh, oh, you all right? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the oh. fuck off me! Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean... Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, not more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Don't touch the titties! The ladies are being real nice to me, Trev! I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Hey! I found it. Well, here's the good stuff. Oh, you precious, precious man. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I think the airlocks were tampered with. No, no, that's just normal wear and tear. It may surprise you to learn that along with being a beautiful, finely put together woman, I am also an expert in nautical engineering and glass degradation. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, look, it's, oh. Looks like Frank tried to scratch a message in with his last dying breath. It says, someone tampered with the airlocks. airlocks. How can that be? My poor Frank. It must have been his ex-wife. Very bitter woman. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about that. I'm not a detective, you know, but something doesn't ring true here. No, no, I know. 
The police are in on it. I'm going to take this to the FIB. They'll know what to do. Yeah, well, that's your business. Hey, ho, whoa! Mm -hmm. you said you're gonna make it worth my while. Yes, yes. This should be plenty for your time and discretion. It's ten bucks. Oh. Here's a signed photo of Frank. He was a lovely person. You would have been great friends. He loved his fans. I've got to get going to the FIB, I mean. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy... You've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No. I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. <sighs> Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, Faye's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead ah, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof, so maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I want to be good, Doc, I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>